A Middletown man now indicted in the death of his girlfriend's three-year-old son. Prosecutors allege Gianni Sellers was abusing the toddler for days before killing him while the little boy's mother was at work. They say he was angry at his girlfriend the day he assaulted her son for the final time. And our Blaze Gomez is following the tragic developments in this case, and she brings us the latest from Orange County. Three-year-old Xavier Johnson should be playing with his Christmas toys. And we intend to get justice uh, for this young child. But instead, authorities say the town of Wallkill toddler was robbed of that joy and his life during a brutal beating last summer at the hands of his mother's boyfriend, Gianni Sellers. I described it as savage, catastrophic injuries. Orange County District Attorney Dave Hoovler says the toddler was fatally beaten June 2nd by the 23-year-old from Middletown after at least a week of abuse without the boy's mother, Brianna Wilson, knowing. Generally, you would expect to see injuries like that from a severe car crash or an extreme high fall. Xavier was found unconscious when a neighbor called 911 for help. Officials say the boy had brain damage, retinal bleeding, broken bones, and blunt force trauma to his torso that tore his liver multiple times. Prosecutors said at Sellers' arraignment Tuesday that he was angry at the child's mother for friending an ex-boyfriend on social media when he killed the toddler while babysitting at Wilson's apartment when she was at work. They said Sellers' phone history from late May shows he looked up the effect of shaking a toddler and what to do when a child is hurt from being abused. They say Wilson thought her son was sick, didn't realize he was being abused, and thought the boy was suffering symptoms of Fifth's disease. A source tells News 12 Wilson brought her son to the doctor thinking he was sick days before his death and that CPS was called. But authorities won't confirm that information and say CPS investigations are confidential. Sellers, meantime, is charged with murder and homicide and pleaded not guilty Tuesday in Orange County Court. The details in this case are certainly very difficult to hear. The little boy's family was crying in court and could be heard gasping when bail was set. Sellers, meantime, is being held in Westchester County Jail because his attorney said there are safety concerns if he remained here closer to home. In Goshen, Blaze Gomez, News 12. Just devastating. And prosecutors say Sellers had an active arrest warrant for domestic violence against another woman when he allegedly murdered Xavier Johnson. They say during the six months it took to make an arrest in the case, Sellers was charged two more times for domestic violence against the same woman.